Uh, my name is uh, Bas Hoekman from Text to Change. Uh, first of all, I would like to, uh, to thank IHEAT for giving this uh, tremendous platform to speak about the work of Text to Change. Um, yeah, this has been tapped upon the, today for several times. Um, I don't have to explain this anymore. There's a huge opportunity for, for mobile uh, applications and mobile programs. Maybe it's, it's, uh, it's nice to mention that 70% uh, of the, the mobile uh, telephone uh, possession of the penetration is, is actually in the developing world. Um, yeah, Text Exchange is founded in, in 2007. In, in the Netherlands, we, um, it, we had the idea of using the, uh, the enormous growth of mobile telephony to address health issues. That was the initial idea of text to change uh, we, we call ourselves a social mobile uh, content, of, uh, content provider. And we uh, develop interactive programs. So we don't want to impose messages top down. We want, really want to have interaction with the target audiences. Um, I'm proud to say that we are one of the pioneers of mHealth in Africa. So we were, in 2008, we were one of the first to execute a large-scale program in Uganda. And um, yeah, we now, besides uh, interactive communication via SMS, we are also developing tools. However, we are a strong advocate of SMS. Um, the reason for that is that SMS is being supported by the, the most uh, basic devices. And yeah, the predominant part of the people in Africa, especially in rural Africa, have access to own, or possess only the, the most basic de devices. Although we have our eye on the ball, we look at the applications. So we believe that SMS is the bridge to, uh, to applications. Um, after our first pilot, we, uh, we've been expanding to, to more uh, projects in more countries. We're now, we now have projects in eight countries in Africa. Um, more than 20 um, projects at this very moment. And we are uh, due to a grant from the Ministry of Health or the uh, Dutch Ministry of Foreign Affairs, we're expanding to seven more countries in the next uh, two years. Um, yeah, tax exchange and the ob objectives, using mobile telephony to, to increase access to health information, uh, improve health services and medicine adherence and data collection. As I mentioned, we started in 2008 uh, with the uh, uh, SMS quiz, Don't Guess the Answers, Learn the Truth About AIDS. Uh, we targeted 15,000 people from, uh, from Celtel, mobile subscribers with questions on HIV AIDS, um, and people who sent back the right answers took the chance to win airtime and mobile phones. So it was highly interactive. If people sent a message, uh, an answer, when it was correct, we sent a confirmation. When it was incorrect, we sent... Uh, a rectification, and the aim for this program was to, to increase knowledge in a playful way, but also to encourage people to go for testing. And based on the results uh, of this program, we, dis, uh, we built our own platform in Africa, and we acquired a toll-free short code. Um, yeah, we had an uptake of 40% at the local AIDS information center by just sending the messages, so that really encouraged us to, to move on. This is a very basic visualization of how this comes on the phone. So people receive a message, and people can reply, and they get the rectification. Um, it's free of charge to participate. And um, as I said, we have incentives. And not only uh, monetized incentives, but also the, the compliments or the certificate if you, if you finish the whole quiz. Yeah, this picture. It's a bit hard to see, but this is also the quiz, the visualization. Um, this is the, the picture we took at, uh, during one of our first uh, projects where we, you can see the people queuing um, uh, with, yeah, the, the queuing at the AIDS Information Center. And, and the way we measure the impact is that we, we match the, 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 the telephone number. So people come to the AIDS Information Center, we, we uh, register the telephone number, and we match it, match it with the, the target group we targeted via the, our SMS system. And that's how we measure the impact of the, the messages. Another program we, uh, we're carrying out in, uh, in Uganda is together with UNICEF and the Ministry of Health. We call it the Mother Reminder Program. Um, the aim for this program is to, to uh, encourage women to go for antenatal care more than once. 
and to increase uh, uptake of adherence of HIF positive pregnant women. And also we encourage um, women to, to give birth in a, in a, in a safe clinic. And even after they've given birth, we want to follow up with, with messages on nutrition and, uh, and other important information during that period. This is the yeah, a visualization of the data collection. So we also do data collection via uh, mobile phones, via SMS. It's very easy. Yeah, um, this is another program in Uganda we do uh, with uh, public-private partnerships. We, uh, we try to, um, to, to make these programs sustainable and, and to work with our partners after the, the funding is, uh, is finished. So we, we try to in, in include the, the private sector in our programs. So we do a program, uh, we call it the first um, workplace-based SMS program where we ask uh, organizations, uh, companies to, uh, to participate in, in our program. So they pay half of the, the program and USAID pays the other half. And in, in return, we offer them the opportunity of the SMS platform to communicate about different issues rather than health. Because we've seen that the CSR at these companies is, is not really developed. So they, they want to see the benefit and they want to, to communicate about maybe the prices of sugar or the prices of coffee. So in order to make it interesting for them, we offer the platform for different, op uh, for different uh, purposes. Another program is uh, Mobile for Reproductive Health. We, uh, we do that in, uh, in Kenya and Tanzania. Um, it's actually a, a mobile um, uh, search engine or encyclopedia. So we, um, we communicate via posters and radio uh, codes where people can send via SMS again the codes to, um, to a toll-free number and they receive information on implants and, and condoms and, and other um, family health, uh, um, uh, other contraceptive uh, methods. This is again a visualization of this, uh, this system. Uh, we do a research study with uh, Infection Diseases Institute in, uh, in Uganda and it's a TV uh, program where we send messages to, um, to, uh, to remind people to take their medicines timely and to go for, uh, for checkups. This is again how the messages rec uh, are received on the phone. Again, the Visualization. We do that together with the Microsoft Research, and as I said, the Infection Diseases Institute. There's going to be a more uh, extensive uh, presentation on this uh, during that session tomorrow. In Tanzania, we, besides uh, um, HIV/AIDS and, and antenatal care, we also have a program where we uh, try to to um, to provide services for people who have come for a medical nurse circumcision. People subscribe via a toll-free short code. We, um, we provide them with information um, so to learn more about the medical nurse circumcision, but also to, uh, to communicate where they could go for these services. And the people who have come for medical nurse circumcision, they need to come for, or they need to have information on, uh, on, on possible complications and what to do. And we, that's why we have a system of uh, post-operative text messages that we send um, to uh, 42 days after the, the, the surgery. How do we measure the impact? Yeah, we can measure the impact by, uh, by the, the uptake of people going for the services and the adherence of the medicines and the response rate of the, the quizzes. Yeah, why does text change? Why does do the programs work? We do because it's very simple. It's it's straightforward. People understand SMS, although there is of course the the matter of uh, literacy. We have partnerships with with all mo mobile operators, and with other organizations in the telecom industry, NGOs, private sector. So um, we really believe in these partnerships because we're not the most knowledgeable uh, organization on health. Um, so we try to combine. Uh, all strengths in order to uh, 
to get the best programs. We use uh, software that works in Africa. It's demand-driven uh, driven programs, so um, we don't push the programs. We really work on demand. And we use the local content. And our focus is on the end user. The lessons learned, yeah, we also had lots of failures uh, in the beginning, but we had the, the luck to, uh, to have executed a large-scale program uh, in the beginning, so everything that could go wrong went wrong. So it was uh, the best thing that could happen to us. Um, yeah, you have to be realistic, so you have to use what works in Africa. As a, and again, the local partnerships is very, very important. Yeah, and it's not the focus is not on the technique. It's it's in the end, it's the people who work with with mobile phones or with applications, and it's uh, it's not the technology that's going to do the work. And we yeah we work we try to work with all mobile operators. Lots of organizations have uh, exclusivity contract with with uh, with one operator, but we don't want to exclude people from our programs. Yeah, the challenge is always the sustainability. Um, in, in Uganda, we have uh, over 50 or even 60 pilots at this moment, um, so scaling up is, is the issue. All the organizations we've worked with, they really wanted to do an mHealth program, so we offered an mHealth program, and many of them were quite successful, but they hardly ever a follow-up. 